everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to paint floral spring eggs, so let's do it! Okay, so to start I'm just going to go through my materials. I have my Windsor Newton Cotman watercolors in my palette. I have my water, I have a size 6 paintbrush, um, a Princeton snap brush, and I also have a size 2. I have my water, my paper towel, and I have eggs. So these are eggs that I hard boiled. And I think because they're so accessible in a grocery store, they're great to paint on. But unfortunately, because they're real eggs, they don't last long. What I did find was these plastic eggs at the dollar store. They're really, sorry, they're really light, hollow plastic eggs, and they kind of have, have a matte finish on them which is actually great for painting watercolor. Um, they turn out quite nice too. I'll just show you one that I did before. They pick up watercolor pretty nicely. And they're great because you can use them year after year. But if you can't find those, real eggs are a great option as well. So I'm going to start by just doing my regular florals that I usually do. So if you haven't watched my other tutorials on florals, you might want to do that first because I'm not going to go too into depth about explaining how to do the florals. I'm just going to show you what they look like on the eggs. Okay, so I'm going to do a, a rose. Now the trick with painting on eggs, because it is a small curved surface, it's a little bit different than watercolor paper. So you, you're not going to want to use a big brush for this because you don't want it to pick up too much water. If you have too much water on your brush, it's going to run down the egg. So just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, let's see. So I'm going to do a rose. So I'm just going to do a bunch of kind of curved shapes. Make them a bit bigger as they go around. And when it dries, it actually looks quite nice. I'm going to pick up more color and tap it in the middle. Remember, not too much water. It's going to run and it's going to pool a bit in areas, but it actually doesn't look bad once it's dry. So there's a little rose. I'm going to do another rose actually too. Maybe I'll make it a peach rose. So I'm just going to add a bit of yellow. I'm going to grab some pink and put it over here. And I'll do one right beside it. So just curves going around like so. I'm going to go back in and pick up a bit more color and just tap towards the middle like that. Okay, then I'm going to do a bit of greenery. Now with the greenery, when I usually paint um, on watercolor paper, I usually have the greenery touch the florals and they bleed into one another and it looks quite nice. But with this, once it bleeds, it starts to run into the color and then it mixes up and it might turn a bit brown. So I suggest not touching the greenery to the flower. So just try your best not to. I'm just going to do a little stem and I'm going to use the shape of my brush to make little leaves like that. One with a little bit there. I'm gonna do some yellow. Little yellow flowers over here. I'll put some yellow over here. So you see it's starting to go to one side and pool, but actually when it dries, it doesn't look too bad. So don't worry if it starts to do that. Uh, maybe I'll put some purple in there too. I'm going to make this one a bright colored egg. Lots of different color florals. Like that. Do another rose up here. You can even try a peony if you like. So obviously you can't do the whole egg 
because you're gonna need to allow drying time so you can do the other side, right? So I usually just do one side and I let it dry and then I do another side. I'm gonna do some just random petals down here too. You could even just fill up your whole egg with just random petal shapes and I think it would look good. yellow flower over here so if you feel like you need to use a smaller brush you can too just to do a bit more detail and also when it dries you could do another layer too on top if you wanted to add a bit more detail now see here you can see the green started to run into the purple and it kind of made a brown color and there's a hair here ah, give it up. But yeah if that happens or if you make a mistake you think that something doesn't look good, you could always just wipe it up with paper towel. Oh, come on. Okay, I'll just leave that there for now. <laughs> and go back over it with your color, like that. So I'm gonna put this one to the side and let it dry. And then another one you could do, you could do a more simple pattern if you don't want to make it all bright and colorful like that, you could always do like pick two colors and have like a color scheme going on. So I'm going to do like a turquoisey blue flower. Okay. I'm just going to pick my shape here. Kind of like the anemone flower I've done before. Like that. And I'll just do a couple of them. There's the petals going out to the side. And one curved. Like that. Maybe I'll do one up here. Like so, and then I'm gonna wait to do the middle after. Yeah, I'm gonna wait to do the middle after and I'm just gonna do some greenery in between. If you hear something in the background, that's my son on the monitor, he's taking a nap. So if he starts crying or making weird noises, just, it's him. He's not in the room with me. He's upstairs. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna go back in and do the middle bits. So now that the middles have dried a bit, I'm just gonna go back in with my indigo color and I'm just gonna do some dots. Now, if those petals weren't dry, it would end up running into it, each other, which is okay if that's what you like. But in this case, I just wanted the middles like this. Like that. Now, as I showed you earlier what the plastic eggs look like when they're dry, I'll just show you quickly what they look like when you start painting on them. They are different than the real eggs. <clears throat> They soak up the color a little bit better and it doesn't slide as much. But I find that they both look really cool when they're dried. I love the way that the, the real eggs look like when they're dry too. So if you can't find these plastic eggs anywhere, don't worry about it. Use real eggs and I think they'll look just as cool. But these are great because you can keep them year after year. And as for like sealing them, I haven't actually tried to seal them with an acrylic sealer or anything or Mod Podge. I don't know if the color would wipe off. Maybe I'll try that one day and let you know, but I've had some of these eggs for like a few years and they've lasted, so I'm not too worried about them losing their color all that much. And then when they do, you could always create new ones. I mean, you get a dozen of these pl plastic fake ones for 
uh, a dollar. But yeah, so that's what they look like. And I'll just go back and show you these ones as they're dry. So they turned out pretty cool. I love the way, even though they pulled there, it gives that really cool watercolor effect. Same with this one. I love the blend there with the yellow in the middle. So I'll just show you a couple other ones that I did earlier. I put some daffodils on this one. And another bright one. And yeah. And now all you have to do is throw them in a basket and you have some beautiful spring decor for your house. So here are other examples of eggs that I've painted in the past. Try out different florals, different color palettes, and just have fun with it. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for more. Have a great day, guys. Bye. You say bye? Yeah, good job. Bye.